I decided it was time to get rid of this old table. Let me show you what I built to replace it. So here's the table when it was in my room. As you can see, it took up a lot of space and I couldn't move it easily. You can imagine that was getting on my nerves. So I decided to replace it with something more practical. Instead of a table that sticks out that much, I'm gonna build a smaller but longer table with this beach panel. And the best thing is I'm gonna mount it to the wall and make it collapsible. Why, you ask? You're gonna find out. I started by staining the tabletop. I did this on top of some newspapers which turned out to be a bad idea because they stuck to the stain a lot. So if you're planning on doing something like this as well, you might want to put something like a stool underneath to keep it from the floor just a little bit. Anyway, my carpet stayed clean and most of the surfaces were fine. It's the next day and the wood stain has dried, so I'm ready for installation. But first, I'm gonna show you the parts I'm gonna use. To mount the tabletop to the wall, I use foldable shelf brackets like this one. They can be folded all the way down and set to 90 degrees, 80 degrees and 70 degrees. And I use four of them. Then, to put everything together, I need some plugs and screws and of course some tools. Mainly a drill and an electric screwdriver. And that's it! So let's start building! I drew a line at the height I wanted the tabletop to be and then laid down the tabletop so I could attach the brackets to it. To do this I first measured where the brackets should go, then I drew some lines to make sure I would attach the brackets perfectly perpendicular to the back of the tabletop. This is important because otherwise it wouldn't be able to fold correctly or even at all. And after this it was just a matter of aligning the brackets marking where the screws had to go and start drilling. As you can see, I had to build quite a contraption to make the end of the screwdriver long enough to be able to screw in the screws. Whatever works, I guess. All done! Now I just need something to hold the tabletop at the right height. Well, I have a pretty strange technique for that, but the last time I used it, it worked really well. Let me show you. I was gonna use my desk chair. I put the tabletop on top of the armrest and set the chair to the right height. Or at least, that was the plan. And here you see me realize I couldn't set it high enough. So what to do now? I got rid of the chair and used this trolley instead. Why didn't I think of this before? It's the perfect height. As the kitchen trolley wasn't perfectly level anymore, I had to make sure the tabletop was level before marking the drilling holes. This problem was solved easily by just putting a little piece of paper underneath the tabletop. After marking the drilling holes, I could start drilling again. I might as well put in the plugs right away, now I have good access to it. Well, you know the drill. Now it's finally time to screw on the first two brackets. I'm clearly enjoying myself. Two more after this and we're already done. Here you can see how I made sure the arm of the bracket that was against the wall was level when I marked the drilling hole. I should have paid more attention to how it folded in the other arm though. You'll see why in a bit. And here are all the steps once more for the last bracket. The leveling and marking. Drilling. Plugging. Hammering. And screwing it to the wall. All done, let's see how it folds down.
yeah, I'm gonna find a solution for this, but that's gonna be for another time. And here you see the problem I was talking about earlier. It doesn't fold all the way against the wall. Instead of just leveling the arm, I should have leveled the arm as much as possible while making sure it's still fitted in the other arm. Just something to keep in mind for next time. Let's clean up a bit. So I didn't just build this folding desk to have a bit more space when I need it. I also have a specific purpose in mind for which I ordered something that could arrive at any time now. Oh, there it is! Great timing! So what's in this package? It's got something to do with these sheets. Let's open it. Okay, it's a bag. But what's in it? Two stands, but they're not important now. What is important though, I'll show you now. So what I'm gonna do now is attach these to the wall. These are wall mounts for the horizontal bar that came with the stands. Let's quickly mount them to the wall. And there's the horizontal bar. So now I can finally review what I had in mind when I started all this. So whenever I want to do a photo shoot or video of course, I just do this. As you will see I fixed the problem from before but didn't film it. The tabletop now folds all the way against the wall. There it is, my own little studio. This turned out so well. Look at this. I'm really happy I went through with this idea. Sometimes you just have to go for it. The table turned out even better than I expected, but let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching.